The Yucatan Peninsula is a beautiful landscape with rich ecosystems, lush forests, and picturesque beaches, but it's missing something. Look at a map and you'll immediately notice it's lacking a feature that's pretty common nearly everywhere else on Earth major rivers. And it's not like the Yucatan is a desert. It rains over a thousand millimeters per year. That's about as damp as Seattle. So where does all the water go? Turns out it's hiding beneath our feet. The Yucatan is home to a network of underground tunnels, thousands of kilometers long. This massive aquifer was partly carved by one of the most destructive events in our planet's history. And in turn, it has steered the course of life on the peninsula ever since. Located mostly in Mexico, but also extending into Guatemala and Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula is made of a 1.5 kilometer thick block of limestone and other carbonate rocks. Carbonates are made from the remnants of marine life. Lots of little shells and coral are compressed and eventually lithify into solid rock. This particular block began forming at the bottom of a shallow sea in the Triassic period over 200 million years ago, and has continued to grow and evolve ever since. In fact, some some of the limestones on the peninsula even formed in the last 10,000 years. That's pretty much yesterday in geologic terms. But 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous, something fairly dramatic happened in the middle of the Yucatan. It's probably not news to you that a huge asteroid crashed into the earth and ended the reign of the non-avian dinosaurs. Well, this is where it landed. So is that the reason for the lack of major rivers today? Kind of yes, but mostly no. Let me explain. The main reason for the lack of rivers is all that limestone and a process that begins with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. A small amount of this gas dissolves naturally in rainwater to form carbonic acid. That means raindrops are slightly acidic and after they fall, the water flows through soil on the ground, picking up more carbon dioxide along the way. This acidity makes the water really good at slowly dissolving carbonate rocks like limestone. In fact, geologists sometimes carry little bottles of a mild acid with them to identify carbonate rocks. If you put a drop of acid on it and it forms bubbles, it's a carbonate. So bit by bit, rainwater has dissolved the limestone in the Yucatan and excavated a network of caves, tunnels, and an estimated 9,000 sinkholes called cenotes. Features like these created by carbonate erosion are called karst. The Yucatan is one of the Earth's largest karst aquifers, extending across 165,000 square kilometers. This includes the largest underwater cave systems on the planet. All this means when more rain falls on the peninsula, instead of flowing over the surface through rivers, it flows into the ground through cracks in the limestone and becomes part of this network. In the aquifer, rainwater forms a layer of fresh water that is up to 100 meters thick. This floats over top of salt water that seeps in from the nearby ocean. Now, the Yucatan isn't the only place like this. The Salento Peninsula, which forms the heel of Italy's boot, lacks rivers on the surface, but has an extensive network of water that flows through deep canyons and caves, or the Nullarbor Plain in South Australia. While this region is quite arid today, around four million years ago, water excavated the largest exposed karst landscape on the planet. But before we get to what this means for the Yucatan, let's take a quick ad break. This SciShow video is supported by sendacake.com, the unique gifting experience that levels up any celebration. Send a Cake offers a selection of boxes to fit your vibe, like the Celebration Billionaire box that sends a stream of fake US $100 bills raining down on you while music plays. And you already know it's the song, celebrate good times, come on. While you're grooving to the music and enjoying the feeling of being showered with cash, you can tuck in for your very own mini cake all from one box. If the person you're celebrating lives in the US, they could get this box tomorrow. Send a Cake offers overnight shipping to all 50 US states, and you can get them this box for 10% off using the code SciShow at sendacake.com. But heading back to the Yucatan, you're probably still wondering what role that big asteroid played in all this. Let's take a look at a satellite image of the peninsula. 
If we mark the cenotes, you'll notice a bunch form a pretty perfect ring shape. 66 million years ago, when the asteroid hit the young carbonate platform of the Yucatan, it blew out a 200 kilometer wide crater. More carbonate rocks have long since filled it in, but fractures around the edge of the impact gave water a path to flow through, forming a ring of especially deep sinkholes. The underground caves of the Yucatan are a unique environment that has some equally unique things living in it. In 2023, researchers teamed up with cave divers to collect samples and figure out who's hiding down there. Through gene sequencing, they discovered that Yucatan groundwater has a microbiome that is distinct from the nearby ocean, and a cenote in one area can have a different set of microbes from one someplace else. Even the fresh water at the top of a single cenote has completely different microbes living in it than the salt water at the bottom. Life can be tough deep underground without much light or organic matter to eat. In an environment that can change so dramatically a few meters up or down, some of the most abundant microbes are also the most flexible. For example, the most common family of microbes can take their pick of metabolizing organic matter, iron, hydrogen, or nitrogen. The cenotes are also home to blind cavefish and shrimp, many species of which only live in the Yucatan. Paleontologists and archeologists have even found bones of prehistoric horses, camels, elephants, and giant sloths, not to mention human remains, preserved in the waters of deep cenotes for thousands of years. The ancient Maya built their cities next to cenotes for access to water. They sometimes also excavated their own deep pits to catch and store rainwater, called chultuns. Today, cenotes attract tourists from around the world to marvel at their dramatic sunbeams piercing crystal blue water. But it's more than just a good photo. To this day, cenotes also hold spiritual importance for the Maya, and groundwater is still the region's only local source of fresh water. Karst aquifers are especially vulnerable to pollution. That's because water flows through them quickly, so contaminants spread fast. The limestone also doesn't naturally filter water as well as other sediments. All of this means the rapid development of the peninsula has also caused contamination of the aquifer. As of 2021, 92% of cenotes tested were polluted with things like sewage and pesticide runoff. So even though the waterways of the Yucatan are hiding underground, they're still vulnerable to what us humans do on the surface. And the outline of an ancient crater that led to a mass extinction is a reminder that all creatures, including us, depend on the planet beneath our feet for our survival. <laughs>